The U.S. Navy has commissioned the 11th of the Independence Variant Littoral Combat Ship LCS, USS Kansas City. U.S. Navy Secretary Kenneth Braithwaite said, This Independence Variant Littoral Combat Ship will continue our proud naval legacy and embody the spirit of the people of Kansas City. He added, I am confident the crew of the USS Kansas City will extend the reach and capability of our force and confront the challenges of today's complex world with our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Naval Surface Force U.S. Pacific Fleet Vice Admiral Richard Brown stated that the ship brings capabilities to counter diesel submarines, mines, and fast surface craft threats to the premier surface force in the world. Kansas City's commanding officer, Commander R.J. Zamberlin, reported the ship was ready, saying, the caliber of crew required to prepare a warship entering the fleet is second to none. This crew has exceeded expectations in unprecedented times, and I could not be prouder to be their captain. In this video, Defense Updates reports on commissioning of USS Kansas City LCS-22 Littoral Combat Ship. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Littoral Combat Ship LCS, is a set of two classes, the Independence and Freedom. Construction of the Freedom class is spearheaded by Lockheed Martin at Fincantieri Marinette Marine Shipyard in Wisconsin well that of independence class ships is led by Austell USA in Alabama. These are relatively small surface vessels and primarily designed for operations near shore. During the late 1990s, the U.S. Navy understood that cruisers and destroyers would be vulnerable to attacks in shallow coastal waters. Large warships like cruisers and destroyers are designed for open ocean warfare and not for shallow water where these can be targeted by high-speed boats missile-firing fast attack craft, small submarines, sea mines, and land and air-launched anti-ship missiles. The idea behind the literal combat ship, as described by former Secretary of the Navy Gordon R. England, is to create a small, fast, maneuverable, and relatively inexpensive member of the DDX family of ships. If required, these ships will absorb an attack and protect the much more expensive cruiser or destroyers. The LCS is envisioned to be a networked, agile, stealthy surface combatant capable of defeating anti-access and asymmetric threats in coastal waters. Interestingly, the LCS has a modular design. The vessels can be configured with different modules for specific roles that include anti-submarine warfare, mine countermeasures, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, homeland defense, maritime intercept, special operations, and logistics. In the long run, the LCSs are expected to progressively replace slower and specialized ships such as minesweepers and amphibious assault ships. USS Kansas City has a length of 127.4 meters, that's 418 feet, and a displacement of 3,104 tons when fully loaded. The ship uses two gas turbines and two diesel engines to power four steerable water jets. USS Kansas City has a speed of 40 knots plus, that's 46 miles per hour or 74 kilometers per hour, and has a range of 4,300 nautical miles which is 8,000 kilometers or 4,900 miles. It accommodates 40 core crew plus up to 35 mission crew. USS Kansas City can carry up to two fire scouts. 
The Northrop Grumman MQ-8 Fire Scout is an unmanned autonomous helicopter developed by Northrop Grumman for use by the United States Air Forces. The Fire Scout is designed to provide reconnaissance, situational awareness, aerial fire support and precision targeting support for ground, air and sea forces. Fire Scout surveillance and targeting capability is expected to further enhance the LCS's improved lethality. The Independence class carries a default armament for self-defense and command and control. Unlike traditional fighting ships with fixed armaments such as guns and missiles, tailored mission modules can be configured for one mission package at a time. Modules may consist of manned aircraft, unmanned vehicles, offboard sensors or mission manning detachments. The interior volume and payload is greater than some destroyers and is sufficient to serve as a high-speed transport and maneuver platform. The mission bay is 15,200 square feet. That's 1,410 square meters and takes up most of the deck below the hangar and flight deck. With 11,000 cubic meters of payload volume, it was designed with enough payload and volume to carry out one mission with a separate mission module in reserve, allowing the ship to do multiple missions without having to be refitted. One Mobicon flexible container handling system is carried on each ship in order to move mission containers. In addition to cargo or container-sized mission modules, the bay can carry four lanes of multiple strikers, armored Humvees and their associated troops. An elevator allows air transport of packages the size of a 20-foot long that's 6 .1 meter, shipping container that can be moved into the mission bay while at sea. A side access ramp allows for vehicle roll-on, roll-off loading to a dock. The Independence-class ships also have an integrated LOS mast, Sea Giraffe 3D radar and Sea Fire Sapphire FLIR. Northrop Grumman has demonstrated sensor fusion of on- and off-board systems in the Integrated Combat Management System ICMS, used on the LCS. The vessels have an interior communication center that can be curtained off from the rest of the bridge instead of the heavily protected combat information center found on other Navy warships. USS Kansas City will be armed by a variety of the weapons. One BAE Systems MK-110 57mm gun. One Raytheon C-RAM CIWS close-in weapon system. Four 50 caliber guns, two aft, two forward. Two 30mm Mark 44 Bushmaster II guns, part of SUW module and 24 AGM 114L Hellfire missiles, planned part of SUW module, or 8 NSMs in deck mounted canisters. Naval Strike Missiles or NSM is the most powerful weapon of USS Kansas City which gives it a potent punch and the ability to take on much larger opponents. It is the upgrade of Kongsberg's Penguin short to medium range anti-ship guided missile. The missile has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers. NSM is capable of high subsonic speeds. It has sea skim mode by which it travels very close to the surface, making it hard to detect and intercept. It's also designed to maneuver to avoid enemy defenses. It's equipped with a 276 pound or 125 kilogram multi-purpose blast fragmentation warhead. NSM features an imaging IR seeker which is complemented by inertial GPS navigation. The missile also has a built-in database of representative ship types to distinguish between intended targets and other objects. Importantly, it can be used as an anti-ship missile as well as for taking out land targets. NSM will be placed on the decks of LCSs through a proprietary canister launcher. U.S. Navy has about 10 supercarriers, 65-plus Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, 22 Ticonderoga-class cruisers, as well as several other surface combatants like WASP-class amphibious assault ships. The powerful warships have made the American Navy's surface fleet to be the most formidable one. 
with the inclusion of literal combat ship like USS Kansas City, US Navy will be able to plug certain holes like operating in constrained places. For example, there are several passages in the world oceans that are narrow like the Strait of Hormuz, where even much less competent force can trouble much better equipped force. The relatively smaller but very agile USS Kansas City will significantly improve the combat flexibility of the US Navy as it faces asymmetric threats from countries like Iran, as well as help in taking on ever stronger Chinese and resurgent Russian Navy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.